Madeline Mugakachire often visits this memorial in Nyange. During the 1994 genocide, a Catholic church stood here. Up to 2,000 Tutsis who had taken refuge in the church were killed. Militia from the Hutu community tried to set the building on fire. And when that failed, they demolished it with a bulldozer. Mukagachire was on her way to the church when the attack happened. Her parents and other relatives were killed. She says Fulgens Kaishema was a well-known police officer in the area. I was concerned when he came to a funeral and refused to allow us to bury our neighbor. I also heard him tell young Hutu men to prepare to kill the Tutsis and slaughter their cattle. That's why we decided to go to the church. Kaishema was arrested in South Africa after two decades on the run. He's accused of organizing the massacre. It's a real being here. It's hard to imagine the terror as people try to find their way out. They thought they would be safe in church, but that was not the case. Alois Ruamasirabo had brought his five children to the church. None survived. Kaishema and others brought petrol to burn down the church. They brought the bulldozer. He was in charge. The priest was also involved. He allowed the militia to come in. He instructed them to demolish the church and everyone in it. He is currently in jail. Back at the memorial, Mugakashire shows us names of her relatives and friends. We're very happy Kaishima is in police custody. He did a terrible thing. I hope he will be brought to Rwanda to face us. He must pay for what he did. Mukagachire says she survived because her Hutu neighbors hid her in a shallow grave and a pit latrine. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nyange Genocide Memorial, Rwanda.